Hey guys, Molden here. As you can see, there in the back, um, there's my new computer. I just finished building it and I'm pretty exhausted now. It took me two to three hours. I didn't get to install the software yet, but I need to start like making this video and stream for you guys. So I'm still going to do this on my old computer today, but eventually the switch is going to happen. Now today I want to talk about Diablo. There's been a tremendous amount of Diablo news. Um, game director Josh Muscaro, together with other game directors from World of Warcraft and so on, um, spent some time in Korea and did some interviews there and there were some pretty exciting announcements which really got me hyped for the game again. Now let me show you this. Um, first he tweeted, and he also said this in the interview, that about the wings of Valor. The new wings that have been data mined really exist. Um, Imperious wings, they can also be called. And they will be available for anyone who's going to pre-order Reaper of Souls. So it doesn't matter if you pre-order like the Collector's Edition or the Digital Deluxe Edition or even the cheapest version. Even the cheapest version is going to get you those things. Uh, as long as you pre-order, um, you will get the wings. And this is really good because in the original game you had to buy like the Collector's Edition um, to get the original wings. And I think you also had to buy um, Heroes of the Storm if you wanted the Kerrigan wings. And this is really, really cool now um, that they decided to give it everyone for free. But the downside is you have to pre-order it. But I think it's going to be a good game. And even if uh, some people are like, unsure if they should buy it or not, but I can tell you that even if maybe the features of the release aren't enough for you, there's going to be constant updates. This was one of the questions asked via Cheng. You told me that Blizzard in the past like it's never like decided to drop a game after like releasing a big expansion or bringing it out. They usually two patches as well. And the same was with Diablo Lord of Destruction. Now Lord of Destruction was good at release, but it wasn't perfect. It was the big patch that once came a few months or years after the release that really um, improved the game for even further. And yeah, I already pre ordered so for me it's no question, but maybe I should show you how those wings could possibly look. Um, this here is Imperius, um, the angel, and it's, my idea is that the wings are going to be something along, along those lines. Now, there's not an official data mine or anything, it's just my personal impression on the name Imperius wings that got been data mined and showing Imperius himself. And this definitely looks better than like any wings out there. I mean, Kerrigan looks the best right now, but compared to this, I don't think... I would choose anything over this Imperious Wings. Now then the next big thing is patch 2.0 is coming in just a couple of weeks um, the new patch is coming and this is pr pretty interesting because um, this is going to be probably before the auction house closure so there's going to be like a transition period where the auction house is still in use but loot 2.0 is already or patch 2.0 is already live on the live servers and the new loot is already dropping so it's going to be really interesting to see how the last few days of the auction house is going to be um, but yeah, we have to wait for the exact release. A um, few weeks could be anything from two, three, or maybe even four or five, which is needed until the auction house gets finally closed. And the last bit of information is also one that's really important for me. Um, you know, in StarCraft 2, there was the option to like set, change the settings and be able to listen to the original StarCraft soundtrack. And the idea was Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 had amazing soundtrack. You know, Matt, Matt Ullman used to work on the Tristram theme, the Wilderness theme, and so on, like the music in Diablo 2 was just one big part why I enjoyed the game so much. And um, Josh Muscara said that um, the, their own music director for um, Diablo 3 also suggested this idea to like really incorporate or give players the option to like switch to Diablo 1 or Diablo 2 soundtrack. And while they don't have an announcement right now, they're definitely working on it and um, I'm pretty sure that they that in the future it will eventually happen and we'll get the really good sound from Diablo 1 and Diablo 2 in our Diablo 3 games and um, yeah those three changes um, make me really happy for the game and um, they're all small but also all really important that they help me like look forward to the official release and again like a lot of people asking why don't you play the beta more now the thing is I don't want to spoil myself you know uh, if I would play the beta like 24 7 every day now I would actually lose the fun and then when the game comes out I wouldn't enjoy it and would play something else what I do instead is I wait until the game comes out and then play it like fresh after like being away from the game for long and I'm really gonna enjoy it and so you don't have to worry about anything um, but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video I'm gonna make my next video probably about the PC like show you the components that I got and so on I'm pretty happy with it I already tested like trying to um, turn it on do some things in the new BIOS new BIOS actually looks amazing um, like you can pretty much view everything there and I even tried to install Windows but I just like checked if it like if like all the hard drives are being discovered correctly and that was the case then I cancelled 
installation went to bed. But yeah, for now, I'm gonna start streaming again. Probably some house in action. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and hope you also look forward to Diablo. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll be back.